everyone. I'm Chris Eric Lee, and welcome to your Wednesday edition of the PE Crime Blotter. A lot of public outcry since the city of Riverside announced they will not be paying the $100,000 for the reward in the Christopher Dorner manhunt, a reward that totaled over a million dollars initially. I'm joined now by Press Enterprise's Alicia Robinson. Alicia, you just got off the phone with the mayor of Riverside, Rusty Bailey. Uh, how did he explain this? Well, he put out actually a statement um, from, you know, kind of on behalf of the city saying that basically the language of the, what the council approved when they agreed to fund a $100,000 reward said that the money was for information leading to the arrest and conviction of a suspect in the case and that those things didn't happen. So, you know, the city has taken a little bit of heat from some people who said, well, you promised this, you should pay it out. And then they've actually had some people coming to their defense. If you look on social media, some people who've said, you know what, they're right. If you read the language of what the council approved, it said arrest and conviction, and there clearly was no arrest and conviction. Now, Rusty said today, uh, the Mayor Rusty Bailey said today basically that, you know, we were bound by government code to obey the language of the resolution. He basically said the city's position is they can't actually pay out the money because the resolution they approved, the conditions of that weren't met, so it wouldn't, might not even be legal for them to pay out the money. Initial headline read that they were taking back the $100,000, but they're saying that's not really fair to say. Right. They had a little bit of a quibble with the language that was used by some of the media, including the press enterprise, saying that the city was withdrawing the reward. Now, they claimed, well, we didn't withdraw it. We, it, you know, it was offered, but the conditions under which it was offered were never met. And so, therefore, it's not like we're giving it and then taking it back. So they were, they were a little concerned about how it had been characterized in some cases. And as far as the other part of the money goes, as recently as Tuesday evening, uh, LAPD Chief Charlie Beck said that they will continue to uh, leave their uh, part of the million in the pot. Yeah, it, it's not 100% clear who is going to be paying money and who is not. Um, a lot of other media outlets have reported that uh, while some of the agencies have stepped forward and said, we're still going to pay it, um, I think in some cases the, the, the wording they used when they agreed to rewards was a little different than what Riverside did. Some of them used the word capture, and you, know, you could kind of debate what the actual meaning of those things is and whether that condition was met. But there were uh, reportedly some other agencies that were also questioning whether they were going to give their awards. So I don't know how it's all going to shake out in terms of how much money there's actually going to be. As far as the two people, it's still the same uh, two groups that are involved here in the claim. It's the couple that got tied up in the cabin in Big Bear and then also Ranger uh, Rick who was, uh, had his car taken by Dorner during the pursuit. Right. That's my understanding, is that they're the, the two parties that have come forward and suggested that they have a claim on the reward. All right, Alicia, thanks for joining us. That does it for your Wednesday edition of the P.E. Crime Blotter. Be sure to join us right here on P.E.com for the latest on this story.